Recently I received a new version of Tizen for my Gear S3 Frontier, is the new Tizen 3.0.0.1. This new Tizen has many features, new features, many changes, uh, especially graphics. We will see them here and we will discuss about them. Be careful after the update, my, uh, my Gear S3 was messy, especially when I tried to install new watch faces there was a problem with those watch faces. So take a full reset and your Gear S3 will be perfect. Okay, the first feature, when, uh, when you want to change your uh, watch face, just press on it and you'll get this new feature of share that watch face. You can share this favorite watch face with, with anyone from your, um, from your contact list. Just press the share and you'll send them a message. So, again, if you rotate that bezel rapidly, you'll get this new preview of your watch faces. If you have many watch faces in your Gear S3, then this feature, it's, uh, it's excellent. Again, just rotate fast and for the second, uh, second view, just rotate again fast and you'll get this uh, magnificent preview. Also, the notification panel and the shortcut panel, uh, it looks uh, different, it's more beautiful, you have this um, info about Bluetooth and also if you have the media player running, you have a notification and also that works as a shortcut. Again, you can edit these uh, shortcuts, you can delete them, you can um, rearrange them. You can put some uh, some functions here. That's that's awesome. Another feature it's uh, it's related to the battery management. If you enter to battery management, you you'll get here default mode, power saving mode, and watch only mode. I already made a video with this. If you activate the watch uh, watch only mode, you'll get 42 days of usage. Of on a single battery charging. It's fantastic. You'll get 42 days on a single battery charge. It's a super, super feature and it's called watch only. In my opinion, it's excellent and it can be very useful in many situations. Okay, let's discuss about widgets. The widgets are the most important feature, I may say, uh, for this uh, for this smartwatch the weather looks fantastically well uh, it was redesigned you get a uh, new design here new infos it's simply beautiful and uh, complex okay you can add contacts very simple also you get here a new design it's, uh, I like it more than the older design. You can add four recipients, four, um, four contacts. I really like how they, uh, they changed this. You get uh, their name on the side. Super cool. From here you can call, you can send message. Very useful this widget. Okay, what about reminders? You can create a reminder, very simple. You can write it, you can handwrite, you can use your dictionary, your T9 writing. You, you have also um, emoji, numbers and symbols. It's very easy to create something like this. And also you can use your voice to type it. The voice typing works only for uh, several languages. You have here the entire list. Um, my language is not here, um, maybe in the future, but the important languages, you will find them here. Let's make a test. It's very simple to handwrite on this smartwatch. Just press done. And after that, you can set your time. Real nice interface, rotate your bezel to set your uh, hour, click on the minute, minutes, 
and also rotate the bezel to change that. Super simple. In options you can set your date, also you can use your bezel, super intuitive, super fast and you can set the mode, repeat every day, month, year and so on. What about um, calendar? You can create an event in your calendar, very simple, with a beautiful interface and very easy to use. S-Health looks, uh, looks nicer in this moment. Great graphics, great infos. You get all kind of information here uh, in a pleasant way. I don't have many information here because my watch uh, was just resetted um, and that's it. As health is very important for me and for many people, I'm sure. Very simple to use and super, super nice. You get these steps, real nice interface. You can, um, you can see the steps for every day. You can see some reports, but I don't have here because I've just installed the new software on my watch. Okay, steps, you can use uh, barometer, altimeter, just press go, okay. And you'll see the altitude, super nice. Also, you can see the pressure using this barometer And you have some settings like auto refresh, calibration, and so on. This is one of the most important widgets for me, the music player widget. It's very important in my case, case because I'm listening music very often. You can, uh, you can set the volume, you can control your music player, you can control your um, phone connected to an external speaker. And as you can see here in the notification panel, you get a new, um, a new area that playing text. In this way, you know that you have the media player running. Just press on it and you will go to media player. Here you can see your, um, your playlist. You can scroll, you can select any any mp3 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 that's fantastic i really love this uh, this widget another uh, new widget is this you can see your last used application you can add your your uh, favorite application but it's very useful because you can see your recent application and you can access them very fast especially if you have many application in your watch. So just use this widget, put one widget, two widgets, and you'll have your uh, favorite apps. Uh, in a second, you will, uh, you will be able to access them. So you get the calendar widget and you can add other widgets. It's very simple, click on them and you will get your widget here. Okay, the alarm widget, super simple to use, super fast, super intuitive, it's fantastic. Okay, let's see what uh, widgets, what other widgets do we have here. You have contacts, Samsung health, calories, challenges, is a new feature, exercise, floors, so you get food, super, super okay. Health rate, leatherboard, you, you get a new feature, this one. Also, you can see your uh, water, you can see the weather, world clock, and so on. Another super feature is this, you get the Galaxy app installed on your smartwatch. If you want to install new applications for your Gear S3, you don't have to go to your smartphone to search an application. Simply you can navigate here on the smartwatch. You can access um, Galaxy apps 
and you can search for a new application. Also, you get um, a list with the most important applications uh, and so on. But if you want something, just press the search button and type your favorite uh, name um, or, or a word. Just search for an application. After that, you can just uh, install it directly from your watch. As you can see here, everything is super fast and it works flawlessly. I've just installed this application using the Gear S3. It's super okay because I don't have to go to my smartphone to install something. It's super fast in this way. Okay, in the end part of this video, I will show you the new settings menu. I will show you all the settings because uh, maybe there are people who want to buy uh, the Gear S3 Frontier or Classic and they want to see all the settings and they want to see as much as possible uh, about this watch, uh, smartwatch. So the settings are better organized now, they look cleaner and it's a pleasure to navigate through these menu settings. Now in some cases when you go to settings you will see related settings. So if you access a submenu in settings you will get related settings to that, uh, to that area. A nice feature in my opinion. Again after you, you will install the new Tizen on your Gear S3 it's possible um, that your smartwatch will have some problems. If your smartwatch doesn't work correctly just reset your smartwatch and you will get a new clean smartwatch, a new clean operating system and everything will be okay. That was my case and uh, I had to, to reset my Gear S3 Frontier. After that everything is flawlessly. Thanks for watching, please like, share, subscribe, thanks.